The affair of divorce within the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one that without doubt is from the disliked affairs uh, from the ahkam from the rulings that are halal even though we do not hold that the hadith, the popular hadith in Sunan Abi Dawood inna abghadu al-halali ila Allah talaq that the most uh, disliked of the halal things to Allah is divorce is a hadith that is da'if, it is not established upon the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but as our scholars have mentioned there is indication in other texts that that is in terms of its general meaning that is generally the case yani that we find that the affair of talaq is something that is loved by shaitan and Sheikh bin Uthaymeen he discusses some of these affairs some of these evidences he mentioned that shaitan when he sends out his armies those armies they go out and they return back there's the smaller shayateen they return back to shaitan his throne is whose throne is upon the water they return back to the, the, the major shaitan the main shaitan and they inform him of what they have done and so he says as far as you then you have done nothing as far as you then you have done nothing and then one of them informs him that i caused the man to separate from his wife and so he brings him close and he hugs him and embraces him and he says ant ant you 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 and that is an indication of the manner in which a shaitan loves that divorce takes place and so this is from the ahkam then from the rulings which while they are permissible they are rulings that without doubt are disliked uh, by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, that they are from the affairs that as we mentioned the hadith is not authentic but the text would indicate ikhwan that we strive to avoid uh, and to circumvent ikhwan having to uh, reach for that option and that is constantly the advice that we give with any of our uh, brothers or sisters who are going through situations in their marriages constantly a sabr patience be patient try and work it out yeah and there is oftentimes uh, a situation that one may have that it may look ikhwan like that you've come to the end of your tether and it is the end of the road but there are greater circumstances or greater elements of the, of the marriage that must be considered the children and in the greater family there are issues that must be considered ikhwan that we should be careful about being hasty in hastening to divorce uh, but it may well be an option allah azza wa jal has legislated it and has explained how it should manifest Allah Azza wa Jal has mentioned that talaq occurs twice and that is within the marriage of an individual and we mentioned something briefly around the ahkam or the ruling of talaq within the marriage of an individual talaq may occur and occurs initially twice and these two divorces that occur they are referred to as talaq raj'i Talaq raj'i That is the first two divorces They are divorces wherein a man has the option To revoke the divorce To nullify the divorce While he is in the waiting period How then Does this affair manifest When that individual And talaq is in the hands of the man Incidentally ikhwan Khula is in the hands of the woman As far as talaq is concerned then it is in the hands of the man and so the affair that or the one that is addressed with talaq is the man so prophet ﷺ, he mentioned innama talaq liman akhadha bisaq indeed talaq is in the hands of the one who holds on to the shin yeah, it is in the hands of the man if a woman seeks a separation then she does that by way of what is known as al khul which is a different scenario it has a different waiting period there are different rulings related to it though allah azza wa jalla does mention it in the verses in the Quran so the first two pronouncements of divorce how do they occur the the pronouncement if a man intends to divorce his wife the first thing that he does is that he waits for her to have her menses if she becomes pure from her menses then without having relations with her he pronounces divorce upon her anti taliq that you are divorced anti taliq and that is afsah incidentally than anti taliqa anti taliq then 
uh, she enters now into a three menstrual cycle waiting period. That is, they now continue to live together as man and wife, but they are now in a three menstrual cycle waiting period, and not a three month waiting period, Ikhwan. A three menstrual cycle waiting period. Within, and the reason I say not three months, not three months, but three menstrual cycles is because many are confused and they believe that it is three months from the time of the pronouncement. And that is not the case. It is three menstrual cycles. And that differs, Ikhwan, if a woman has an irregular menstrual cycle, then we must wait for three menstrual cycles, even if her menstrual cycle is irregular. So if it is that she has a menstrual cycle once every three months, then her menstrual cycle, her waiting period is huh, nine months. It is the menstrual cycle that is considered and not the months. We say three months, yani tasahulan, because of the fact that uh, ordinarily women have their menstrual cycle once every month. When she becomes pure from her third menstrual cycle, then the affair, their marriage is completely dissolved. When she becomes pure from her third menstrual cycle. Within those waiting or within the, the waiting period, the menstrual cycles, then he is able to revolt the divorce. I take it back. Either verbally or physically. That is, he verbally says that I revolt the divorce or physically that is that they have relations. And it is established that relations is one of the manners in which a person revokes his pronouncement of divorce. As occurs in the hadith of Imran ibn Hussein, in the Sunan of Imam Abu Dawood, that a man came to Imran ibn Hussein, ibn Hussein radiallahu anhu, and said that indeed I have divorced my wife, thumma waqa'atu biha. Then I had relations with her. وَلَمْ أَشْهَدْ عَلَىٰ طَلَاقِهَا وَلَا عَلَىٰ رُجْعَتِهَا <coughs> he said, I did not have witnesses for the divorce or for taking her back. Remember what was mentioned in the question? I divorced her and then I had relations with her. And I didn't have witnesses for the divorce or for taking her back. Which is clear that the affair of having relations was considered taking her back. Prophet uh, Afwan Imran ibn Hussein, he said, he said you have divorced in that which is other than the sunnah and you have taken her back in a manner that is other than the sunnah have witnesses for the divorce and for taking her back and don't repeat this and so if he makes that pronouncement then the origin is he has individuals who witness the fact that he has divorced them. It doesn't necessitate that they must be there present when the pronouncement is made. It may possibly be that he informs them of what has taken place. In any case, after the first pronouncement and they wait for that three menstrual cycle waiting period, again, within the three months, he's able to keep her and revolt the, revolt the and nullify the talaq or that uh, he continues until the menstrual cycle is over, in which case they are completely, the marriage is completely dissolved. If he does take her back, then that is one strike gone from the three strikes that he has throughout his marriage. The second occur occurrence, if mathalan, everything, alhamdulillah, is jayid, tayyib, then 20 years later, yeah, and she starts to play up again. And he begins reconsidering again, subhanAllah, we're going to go back to this same old mushkila. And so he decides, you know, I've weighed it up, I've tried my best, it's just not going to work. I'm going to have to, it's going to have to, we're going to have to call it a day. Again, he does the same thing. He waits until he has, she has her menses. She becomes pure from her menses. He pronounces talaq upon her. She enters into her three menstrual cycle waiting period. There and after, during this three menstrual cycle waiting period, he's able to revoke or he leaves it to end. When it comes to an end, then the marriage is completely dissolved. He, she can remarry if she should so please. Uh, and there is no connection between 
the two of them any longer. That is, if that occurred twice. But if thereunafter he divorces her on a third occasion, then this is not the talaq raj'i, this is not the first type of talaq that we discussed, which is the first or second strike. This is what is known as talaqul ba'in. Talaqul ba'in is the third and final strike, ikhwan. After that divorce, that is the divorce of no return. At least, unless she marries again, and then they divorce, and that marriage must be genuine and sincere, for the purpose of marriage, not just to make her halal for her ex-husband, unless she marries again, and then they divorce, and then uh, it is possible for them to remarry. So the affair of divorce then is something that is legislated just as, as khula is something that is legislated for certain scenarios. The khula is what is referred to as al-iftida in the Quran. Allah Azza wa Jal mentions, فَلَا جُنَاهَ عَلَيْهِمَا فِي مَفْتَدَتْ بِي Then there is no harm upon the two of them that if they find they are not able to maintain the boundaries of Allah, then there is no harm upon the two of them فِي مَفْتَدَتْ بِي Allah Azza wa Jal mentions that after the first two talaq, after the first two divorces, there is no harm upon the two of them in that which she ransoms herself from him with. And that is the mention and the discussion of al khula and khula is that ordinarily she returns the dowry that was given to her when she got married and the, devo the marriage is nullified. It is as though somebody has come to their marriage certificate and ripped it up. The marriage is now nullified. That is not considered one of the strikes of divorce. But it is an option that Allah Azza wa has afforded to the woman if she finds herself in a circumstance, in a situation where she has a difficult marriage and a man uh, that really uh, she should not be married to. Uh, and so this final option, ayyuhal ikhwa, is one that is present in the book of Allah and we likewise find that it is present within the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa 